All right, here's day two with the lathe. Uh, so we bought some more tools. We got a center drill countersink set this is to uh, do a little countersink in the middle of your part. So then you could drill a hole with it afterwards with the drill bit. We got that. We got a four inch low profile drill press vise. This is just to hold my rods so that I could cut it down to size. Um, just super tiny, compact. And then we have a drill bit set. So this is a cobalt set. I originally bought the titanium coated one. Uh, it was about half the price, but based on Facebook group recommendations, they said go for cobalt. So I went back and I exchanged it for this set. Um, hopefully I'll be able to use, find something. This is a standard set. So hopefully I could find one that fits my metric sizes uh, for the shims that I want to make. And then uh, this one I already opened, but anti-fatigue mat for the floor. I spent about a little over an hour standing in one spot yesterday, so this might come in handy. So yeah, let me uh, open this up and then I'll set it up on my workbench. So here's the cobalt drill bits. Uh, we got it opened up, labeled by letters. I think there's a chart that actually tells you which each size is. And then you got all the small ones here. A few more over here. I don't know if these actually pull out. If not, it's kind of hard to see the size in the back row. But there's this. I just tucks away like that and then we got our centering bits here so I plan to work on aluminum mostly so these should be just fine but I guess when you start working with steel this might not hold up for long and then we got our vise here you guys saw me testing it with one of the rods uh, it's not a big vise but it'll work so the workbench here this is all the space we have so I try to keep it to a minimum as far as the size of tools and then I, I bought this chuck on Amazon uh, this is what I'll be using to to drill holes so you'll basically unlatch it like that slide this whole thing forward to your piece lock it back down and then you'll be able to turn this wheel in Feed the bit into your spinning part. So one thing I saw in a different video uh, that someone else posted was uh, when they turned it on for the first time it looks like there was a lot of oil sitting in these holes so then you'll get a whole splash of oil here um, so what I'll do for for this is I'll drop the shield down and then I'll uh, cover a little bit here and then I'll just hold a rag right in this side uh, just to make sure that you don't have anything snagging when it's spinning but I'll just give this a spin and just get all the oil to shoot out see all the, the oil that came out all over the shield so so I'm just gonna come in here and do a little cleanup Alright, 
And then I went ahead and attached the handles here. I noticed that these two have a free spin handle, whereas this one is a fixed handle, so you'll kind of have to just let it roll on your finger. I don't know if uh, that's intentional, if all lates do that, or if it's just this model. If it is, maybe I'll, one of the projects I'll do is just turn my own spinning handle and put one here. All right, so some feedback after using this machine for a little bit. This gear makes a horrible grinding noise. Um, so what I watched another video, what it looks like is this carriage here, or this lever doesn't fully sit into the hole. Uh, so you'll see it's kind of tapered there. So I guess it wobbles around and it starts to make a grinding noise. So what I'm going to do is drill this hole here a little deeper and hopefully that gets rid of this slop that's sitting in there. Okay, so we're back. Uh, drilling out these holes for this didn't really do much. It did secure it more, but I was still getting a crazy grinding noise from what I assume was this gear, because every time it grinds, I could hear, I could see the gear move. Um, so I did some reading, and it looks like someone mentioned just to pack it with grease. So that's what I did. I put a good amount of grease in there. Um, before that, it was pretty much like this. It had a thin layer of oil, but it wasn't greased. Uh, so after I did that, I ran it at low RPMs for a little bit to get the, the grease worked into there. And yeah, the noise is gone. So if you have that issue, I'd recommend just packing it with grease. So what I'll do here is just add more grease. Um, yeah, now the machine's super smooth, so excited. Oh.